Hey there everyone. Now I would guess I am doing three three videos in one time because I'm just that stupid and bored anyways. Now the third one would be police the next one would be police knots. An amazing an old but golden work also by Hideo Kojima. And 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 one of you would check out the cover of the game or even see a little bit of screenshots or videos or whatsoever if you look it up you're gonna find out that it's a little bit of the animated uh what was it called again laser weapon yeah it could be close to what it would appear to be an animated version of laser weapon because the main protagonist looks like Riggs from Lisa Weapon and Martano, which is also and the black guy, the psychic, would also look like Rig Mortado and um and Lisa Weapon as well. A little bit of inspiration from movies. Police Knots is basically a point-and-click adventure visual novel game that really has a very amazing soundtrack that pretty much captures a lot of feelings to all situations, and I'm not joking. Like, really, give it a listen, especially on its PC-88 version. It's just that great. In fact... The PC-98 version, aka the very original version of Police Knots, is the very first Japanese computer game to have really good looking pixelated art to be mixed up with high quality sound and a very fucking smooth sounding CD original audio. But then unfortunately, that version was never been found translated by someone. And hopefully, someone does it for us. But then, that will never happen, because the game is old anyways. So why would even people even care about a game that's old? <sighs> so what's the plot about Police Knots? Basically... A bunch of astronauts been trained as police knots. My protagonist named Jonathan Ingram, with a bunch of his with a bunch of his old friends, along with our little psychic, Ed Brown. Now Jonathan gets into an accident with his imp suit because someone apparently has rigged his suit. That accident was he basically drifted off the space entirely, along with the Yuri that was with him. And ever since that time, he disappeared for like 50 years or 60 years. I can't really remember. He was found and been transferred into old LA. And during that time, he has lost everything. What he didn't know, that he really lost everything. Lost his career, lost his friends, and lost his ex-wife, Lorraine. And, and, it, and anyone at that position would be on the edge of the earth. And because of that, he works as a private eye detective. Doesn't that reference a little bit of thing from Lisa Weapon? I think so. Now, and then he gets a surprise visit from none other than his ex-wife. And boy, what a weird visit that was. And his ex-wife asks him for help to find her missing new husband, Hojo Kenzo. 
And then he pretty much says that he would think about it. But if you press the refuse option, he would blandly refuse. And then she comes out of his office only to get herself blown up to bits. Because someone has planned a bomb near her car. And Jonathan warns her really late. Or let's just say he warned her pretty early, but she didn't move. She was only basically being surprised. And boom, the bomb has been detonated. He looks for the, he looks for our mysterious killer. He shoots him many times, only to find that our killer is using artificial blood, and he is almost freaking immortal. And the killer gets away. They both say their final goodbyes to each other, and then he goes to beyond. The colony where his sidekick and his friends and everything he has ever known and loved was on there. And from there, he investigates, only to find that his older friends, except of his sidekick, has betrayed him. Big time. And that they set him up to get fucked up. And of course, the plot twists and everything goes on. Well, the only way that was to play that, these kinds of games were only the freaking PS1 port. And later on, someone had actually been able to fan translate the Saturn port. And wow, just wow. It may not be as, the PS1 port may not be as amazing and good looking as the, the PC98 port, or, and the Saturn might not be the same way, but, however, it was the only, those are the, keep in mind, those are the only English fan translated ports for the game. The PC98 version would have to wait big time, because it's pretty damn hard. And I'm gonna be real with you. That game is almost perfect. It's almost really perfect. In fact, most of you would like to know where does that little logo jingle on Metal Gear Solid 1 come from? It comes from Police Knots. Especially at the title screen and like that do 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 thing actually comes from police knots and to hear a full scale crazy version of it you might want to listen to end of the dark it's just that great it even plays at the second part of the introduction of the PS1 port and the gameplay is literally a point and click game especially on the PS1 you control a mouse cursor literally from your good old days of Windows XP like yo what just to find out that the game actually uses a mouse. But you've got your control to deal with. But if you can connect your mouse into this, you're completely the pro of the game. A full experience of the PC version, I would say. <sighs> and yeah, the game is just almost perfect. The characters the voices, the uh, the backgrounds, the graphics, the places, the motherfucking soundtrack. Everything about it was just that great. 
and now and it's even the game that came after Snatcher in part of Hideo Kojima's best works and let me tell you it's just great oh a special guest is on there Meryl that's right good old Meryl first appeared on Police Knots aka Beyond but unlike that other unlike the other Meryl that everyone has been used to ever since Metal Gear Solid 1 she is quite different let's just say different personalities with the same body type but enough about that did you know that the police notes even with the fan translation it actually has voices and it's all Japanese voices only since then it's a Japanese only game in fact none of the versions of Snatcher or uh, police notes have ever left Japan but for Snatcher's case it luckily had a Sega CD version that was never released in Japan. Like, yo, what? However, in Police Nuts, it saw a different case. All of the versions, even the ones that are fan translated, have never left Japan. So, playing Police Nuts wasn't possible until the fan translations came along. Like legit, those were are the only ways that you could play that, unless you are very good at understanding Japanese. You're up for you're all up to play the original PC ninety eight version. <sighs> if there is an honest rating I would ever give to oh, before I close it up, you can actually <clears throat> feel women's fronts in other words you can rub their goddamn boobs in some sections of the goddamn game and don't even ask why i would point that out because there's some dumbass people like me would love to hear that out <laughs> right and i would give this game a rating a solid 10 out of 10. Because like I said, everything about it was just that perfect. That's it for me.